Your refrigerator, stovetop, paints, paint strippers, wood preservatives, cleansers and disinfectants, repellents and air fresheners, hobby supplies, dried clean clothing, pesticides, building materials and furnishings, copiers, printers, crafting materials like glues and adhesives. Now, unfortunately, the truth of the matter is that all of those things that you and I both have in our homes, unfortunately, release toxic pollutants in the air known as VOCs or volatile organic compounds. These VOCs are essentially gases that are emitted from certain solids or liquids, which can have short-term and long-term health implications. And unfortunately, because we do live inside of our homes a lot of the time, and if you're working from home like I do, the concentrations of this are significantly higher in the home than what you would actually find outdoors, unless all of your windows are open all of the time and your home is just like perfectly ventilated natural airflow coming in and out of your home which for most people is not the case. You also don't have to take my word for it on VOCs. All of this information is actually coming straight from the EPA, which is a branch of government which oversees like environmental health and things like that. So I have a link in the description down below for you guys. So if you actually wanna take a look into this more for yourself, education and knowledge is power. So I definitely encourage you guys to look into that too. Now I'm gonna guess two things about you on the other side of the camera that clicked on this video. The first being that you are interested in plants. You're probably a plant owner much like we are. The second thing being, if you realize I'm a tech channel and that it's a little bit weird and different that I'm doing something on a plant, right? Well, for the first thing that I acknowledge, house plants like you guys probably have are good in that they take the carbon dioxide out of the air, turn them into fresh oxygen for us to breathe inside of our homes. But what they don't do is they don't target those toxic VOCs that we talked about. The reason that you click on this video for the Neo plant, these power drops are what are going to replenish your Neo plant's microbiome and help keep it supercharged and being an ally in your home and consuming all of those VOCs that are dispersed in the air. Now, in the back of this box, it does give you simple instructions in terms of what you need to do just once a month to help keep your microbiome replenished on your Neoplant PX. But what's great is that this actually comes in the box and this has QR codes for any of the questions you might possibly have. And this one here is a nice startup installation guide that's going to run you through exactly how to set up your Neoplant and also how to utilize these power drops. You get a whole bunch of really comprehensive detailed information from the Neoplant team. So you're getting a bunch of these power drops and what's super helpful is that you're also getting a stir stick inside of the box as well as a beaker so you can actually stir the solution and it has that nice little beak right there so it's easily pourable into your plant. And the way that this actually relates to my channel in that way, right, tech and lifestyle, there's a lot of biotech and bioengineering that went into this plant over the span of multiple years by the Neo Plant team, composed of a roster of 30 with people on their vision team and also scientists and that essentially bioengineered the Neo Plant with directive evolution or lab-assisted evolution. What they were able to create here is not only a plant that looks really nice, but more importantly, a plant that is able to purify 160 square feet dedicated home space and is able to thrive on the VOCs that are in the air. Take that and in the same way that your house plants take the carbon dioxide and turn that into oxygen, this consumes all of those VOCs, leaving more purified air in your home so you're not getting a lot of those long-term chronic side effects that most people in the US are experiencing, unfortunately, despite the nature of having a lot of the conveniences and appliances that we have in our home on a day-to-day -day basis. So something that's becoming increasingly more common is people working from homes. You probably do. I do most of the time. If you're new to the channel, my day job is that of a clinical therapist. And so although I do leave the home to actually do that work, a lot of the time I'm here at this desk writing up treatment plans, monthly summaries, clinical notes for those sessions. And when I'm not doing that, I'm here at this desk still editing on my MacBook to make the YouTube content that people are watching here on the channel, which I really enjoy doing. And because it's summertime right now, we've been getting a lot of like 95, 96 plus degree weather days. Our windows are not open because the air conditioning is on so we can stay cool inside of the house and because of that much like probably a lot of you guys watching this especially during those months there's not a lot of airflow and ventilation that's actually coming through the home from the outside and so things in my room that are making those VOCs right like my MacBook this monitor my PlayStation 5 which I absolutely love to play but it's a culprit. Paint on the walls, the type of wood that my bed frame is made out of. They all seem like small individual things, but when you're in your room with no ventilation, all those things add up and you're getting those side effects like the fatigue, the brain fog. I love exercising, love to stay healthy, but this is the most important organ in my body and the most important organ in a lot of you guys' body. So I need this to be functioning efficiently so that way I can do the work that I do, not only creatively for YouTube, but also interpersonally with the clients that I'm working with in session. And so having something like this that also looks really Really good in the background and lines up a room as plants do but also functionally is helpful in terms of detoxifying the air that i'm breathing in for a large majority of the day when i'm here 
is really valuable. When having a lot of good conversation with the Neoplan team, I had a question in regards to air purifiers, right? Because we actually have one and I'm wondering, well, what's the difference between an air purifier and the Neoplan? Because the air purifier is supposed to purify the air. And they actually broke it down in that they don't necessarily see the Neoplan as a replacement necessarily, but more something that could be complementary alongside an air purifier. The main difference being that air purifiers are more good for, say, like your incenses, your candles, or say, like when you're cooking food, right? And like the scent from your food, this is good at purifying the air from those types of things. But air purifiers are not going to hit VOCs in the way that the Neoplan is, right? And another question I had for them, keeping all of you guys watching this in mind, was if my viewers are spending the money for this, how long can they feasibly? expect it to last. The great news is that the Neoplan is actually made up of a Marble Queen Pothos and so as long as you're taking care of the thing, watering it, sun like you would any of your other plants, you're actually getting multiple years to so sometimes even decades out of your Neoplan and so it's going to be a household companion with you for a long time. I hope that answered a lot of the questions that you guys were wondering about and Neoplan did reach out to me to sponsor this video and if I'm being completely honest, initially I almost just kind of let the email go but what caught my eye was the bioengineering, the biotech that goes into this that make this a complimentary household item that's going to benefit your health long-term. Speaking with the team over there, finding out what makes this tick, what their vision was, and learning about the benefits for not only myself, but potentially you guys too, it was definitely a win-win. So if you guys are interested in getting this for yourself, for your home, I'll have links to the description down below and the comment section pinned for you guys so you can add a Neoplan to your house. And if you have any other questions, if you're wondering about something that maybe I missed, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and hanging out. I wish you a fantastic remainder of your day afternoon or night depending on the time that you are watching this and as always peace love adios bye guys and have a great day